Hello. Okay, next tutorial. This tutorial isn't meant to be anything in particular at all. I literally sat down, decided I wanted to record a makeup, and did this. So it's an original pink stylist crazy makeup, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Um, there's not much to say about it really. I mean, the After Effect, I suppose, or is an insane asylum kind of mental person that is forcing himself to be happy. I don't know. Or they're forcing him his eyes to be open and smiling. I don't know. You guys can make the backstory up for it. Kind of looks like a creepy pasta character, like that has yet to be written. That could be cool. <laughs> so yeah, if you'd like to learn how to recreate this craziness, stay tuned. So I'm going to do things a little bit different this time. I'm going to work in a different order that I usually do because I'm actually going to be making this look up on the spot. I don't actually know what I'm going to do. I just thought I would start doodling and see where I take this makeup. So <laughs> I'm going to start by taking a Clinique uh, brown eyeliner pencil. It doesn't really matter what pencil it is as long as it removes easily if you make a mistake. And I'm just going to start tracing on like a really cartoony grin, I think. So then I'm going to work backwards and I'm going to colour the detailing in first and then draw in the fine lines where each tooth is going to be. So just to make it a little bit easier so I haven't got to smudge the lines and redraw them on. Yeah. So I'm going to take some Nazaru white watercolour and I'm going to start drawing on just about two lines basically going across over my lips. Not too thick because I'm going to have three shades of colour in there. Then I'm going to take a pink watercolour by Snazaru and I'm just going to colour in the outside of that white. And I think I'll do the third colour, the red, after I've done the fine detailing. So I'm going to take a really fine but strong brush and some black Snazaru watercolour and I'm going to start tracing in the shape of the teeth that I want. Because they're, be, they're going to be quite big and cartoony I think. Then I'm just going to colour in between each two for make them a little, some of them more jagged than others and some of them just, it's just so they're not all symmetrical and some different shapes and the edges are all rounded off. So there we are, so that will do for now, just a basic shape. So then I'm going to take a Grimace Black Cream and I'm going to use that to colour in these two edges here. So try and get it as dark as you possibly can because that's what adds the illusion of depth. Then I'm going to take a new brush and just slowly manipulate that colour and bring it forward over a couple of these teeth in the pink. Not like harshly, just drag it this way, then drag it and drag it. Don't go back and forth, you want it to be a gradient. So there we are, so it's like the middle part of the mouth is peering through. Yeah. Then I'm going to take a red lip pencil by OCC, this is their uh, NSFW pencil, and I'm going to use that just to draw on the outside gum line, just around some of the teeth and mainly towards the bottom here and the lip line on top, um, just because I want it to look a bit sore and just add a bit more dimension. Then I'm just going to take that black cream again and just stagger it really lightly all around the outside edge of this lip. Then I'm just going to take that Snazaru uh, pink watercolour again and I'm just going to go along the bottom underneath this middle part here just so I can draw a fake lip in. Then I'm going to take that brown Clinique pencil that I used at the start. I'm just going to use that to outline this new shape going all the way up to here but I'm going to make it extra dark in the middle just so it looks like the bottom part of the lip is pouting. I'm going to do the same again with the brown pencil but I'm not going to draw any more pink on. I'm just going to draw a really light line going over this shape here just with a tiny little gap between the red and the brown just so it looks like a really thin top lip. So nothing major, just like a faint shadow. Then I'm just going to work on shading the teeth a bit more. So I'm going to take the black cream again, and only a tiny bit though. And I'm going to go, I'm going to highlight it, not highlight, I'm going to shade each tooth from the bottom upwards. I'm just going to sweep the colour up on each tooth towards the edges of each tooth. Not so much the middle, just so each one of them stand out more and it makes this divide, this line in the middle just stand out a bit better. So I'm now going to move on to the nasal labial folds. So like I did for my uh, Joker tutorial, my uh, mime Joker, 
Uh, I'm going to use a dark brown cream uh, by Grimace in 1001 and I'm going to use that to draw on some fake nasal labial folds, the folds you have around your cheeks to make you look self like you're grinning. So I'm going to draw them from where the, my nostrils start, about there, then I'm going to loop them round and join them onto the edge of each of these black marks here. Then to make the illusion work you need to blend this colour upwards so there's a neat line underneath. Um, it makes it look basically that this area is more prominent so the shadowed area is going to be here which makes it look like the cheeks are puffier underneath. Then I'm just going to block my eyebrows out because I think I might draw on something to make it look like the eyes have been pulled open, we'll see. So I'm going to block them out, I'll pop a link here to a tutorial that I've done in the past to teach you guys how to block them out, just to, to make this video that much shorter. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to block them out and carry on. Then I'm going to take some third degree, which is basically silicon, and it comes in A and B, and I'm going to mix 50% of each one, each together, to make a paste, and I'll be able to apply it in like a triangle shape, because I want to have the illusion that my eyes are being pulled open, so if I do a triangle there and a triangle there, I can have some kind of mechanism to be stuck down here to make it look like everything's pulled open. You don't have to use third degree, you can use wax, or you can use liquid latex. I just, I don't know, I, I feel like I should use more um, third degree in my tutorial, just so I can get to grips with it, because... It's always good to practice with new materials. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to mix 50-50 of that, and then I'm going to start moulding it onto my skin here. Okay, so when it's all evenly mixed together, I can take a small amount of it, and I can start applying that, as I said, in a triangle shape, probably about finishing there. And I can just layer it up and layer it up on each eye. So once I've got enough laid up, I'm just going to lightly blend out the edges. I don't need to blend on the inside, I need to make that quite sharp actually. So if I just, so if I just remove the insides, I can leave that looking as blunt as it can and then it blend the edges out so then it just looks like the skin fold is really deep. Then just before that dries, I'm just going to take some fake acrylic nails that have already been painted silver. And I'm just going to stick that right over the top of the very end point and push it right into the silicon. Then I'm just going to take a red cream by Grimace, this is their 504. And I'm just going to use that in a really fine brush just to, just going to draw it around the nail for a second and then I can spiral it out afterwards. And then I'm going to draw a few lines going outwards and just tapering off. Same cream, and it's going to colour in this entire area inside these triangles. And I'm just going to continue that onto my eyelids, not going outside this shape here. So then I think I'm just going to do the exact same opposite underneath the eyes. So I'm going to replicate the same thing with the silicon either side, and I'm going to do it just underneath the eyes and then stick two more nails down here. So there we are. The only thing I'm going to do differently is take a Grimace White Cream in 001, and I'm just going to apply that really finely along the edge of my lash line on both eyes, just to make the eyes look like they're being pulled down further. So then I'm going to take some Fresh Scratch Blood by Creolan and I'm going to take some Rigid, Co uh, Rigid Collodion by Creolan and the idea is to mix a small part of this with the Fresh Scratch Blood and I'm going to apply that I'm directly underneath my eye where I've applied the red but not too close to my actual lash line on the bottom because it's quite dangerous to get this too close to the eyes. It's quite safe because I've used Rigid Collodion before underneath my eyes. Um, the idea is when Rigid Collodion dries it puckers the skin and makes it look scarred but I found if you apply it near your eyes it pulls the eyelid down ever so slightly. We don't want it to go too far because obviously that would be dangerous but if I mix it in with the blood it should make a nice medium and hopefully not only will it look gross and shiny it should pucker the skin. And I'm also going to apply that on the top half as well, not with the collodion, just the scr fresh scratch blood on its own. I'm going to apply that all on this top area here, not my actual eyelid though. Then I'm just going to take a crow and use the dark blue, nearly black, from that palette. And I'm going to use that to go ever so slightly around the very edge of the outside of this diamond shape that we've got here, just to make it look like it stands out a bit more. Then I'm just going to use the off flesh colour from this palette just to colour in all of the third degree so it matches in with my skin tone but looks a bit more bruised. 
think I might actually add a couple more of these nails and stick them down with spirit gum and just stick a couple there as well just to make it look like my mouth is being pulled up as well because it just kind of thinks, I think it needs that. <laughs> so when they're dry I can do the same thing again with the cream, I can just draw a few lines tapering away from it just so it makes the skin look more taut. So then I can take the Grimace Brown Cream again, the 1001, and I'm just going to draw a few little extra wrinkles on and little stretch marks where the air is being pulled apart. I'll just time that through this so you can see where I've gone and I'll show you afterwards exactly where I have gone so I can blend it out. So I've just done a few little tension lines, like a couple lines out here and a couple around the mouth, nothing major. So I'm just going to blend those out really lightly just so they don't look as harsh but I mean let's face it this look isn't really subtle anyway so it doesn't really matter about it looking too harsh. So then I think I'm going to pop on a wig, some contacts, a costume and see what we've got. And there we go so that's look complete. So I finished look off by popping in two black sclera lenses uh, that I got from eyesbright.com. Um, I popped on a really crazy frizzy black shoulder length wig which I back combed like crazy. Um, <laughs> I popped on a straight jacket which I made for um, my jackal tutorial for the 13 ghosts makeup I did a long time ago and I've kept it ever since. Mm -hmm. Just this really just distressed looking um, straight jacket that yeah it's not the best costume but I thought we might go with this look seeing as it looks quite crazy as it is. Um, <laughs> yeah so I mean there's not much to say about this look really as, as I said I made it up on the spot I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It's kind of like an escaped insane asylum person really determined to be happy so that he stapled his eyes open and his mouth up to look as happy as possible. Yeah, I kind of feel like I need to invent a creepypasta character around this makeup now. <laughs> but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to see me do some more makeups in the future where I just make them up on the spot, let me know. Um, and yeah, so thanks for watching. If you like it, make sure to you know the usual. Rate, comment, subscribe and all that jazz. And yeah, so until next time, bye.